Welcome to Bits of an Artist's Life. If you're new here, I'm Sandy Hester, and in this week's video, I have a very long art haul for you. Tons of new supplies. I found some of this footage back from September, so you've probably seen me using some of these supplies already, but there are some really, really wonderful new supplies that I loved, and a couple duds. But before we get into that, I wanted to let you know about a new platform I'm on that I am loving. And those of you that are following me there are loving it too. So I have started a Substack account. So basically this is going to be my mini vlog blog. I've been calling it my vlog blog. I'm posting mainly videos there. So it's a blog where you will subscribe and you will get emailed directly to your inbox. So you'll know every single time that I post a new video. I've already got several on there. I'm loving the platform. It's clean. It's so simple to read and watch videos. Everybody that's been following me is just absolutely loving it. It's mainly videos, but it gives me space also to be able to post pictures and things that go with the video. I wanted a space that's in between Instagram and YouTube. I'm not leaving either one of those spaces, but sometimes I feel really squeezed with Instagram and sometimes things don't feel like they rise to the occasion of an edited video here for YouTube. So this is a much more casual space where I'm able to just turn the camera on. It's gonna be a lot like my Instagram where I do reels and stories where it's casual, but on Instagram I feel very squeezed with 60 seconds. So this gives me a little bit more breathing room, but it's very casual, unedited for the most part videos with all the same topics you already love. In fact, this week I did a video where I shared about my coffee shop sketching time. A friend of mine, we're going out every week to different coffee shops and I shared an issue we dealt with while we were there, how we overcame it, all the sketches I did, and then also the paintings I did from those sketches and also just give tips and stuff. So that's already up on the vlog. Uh, there's lots of other videos there. So I hope you'll check it out. I'm gonna put a link below where you can subscribe and literally it's like little gifts in your inbox, your email, ding. Sandy's put a new video and you can either watch it right there from your email or go and watch it. And you can go there and see all the past post. It's really, feels like a miracle spot, <laughs> a miracle space. I'm absolutely loving it. It's free, there's no ads, it's not cluttered, all that. It's just delightful. Everything about it is delightful. So make sure to subscribe and not miss any post. Okay, let's jump into this mega art haul with amazing supplies. I have a really nice big order that came in that I'm excited about and wanted to share it with you guys because there's a lot of new things in here. There are a couple things that are gifts. So let me get those out of the way. I bought a few ink tints, Derwent ink tints for a friend of mine, a few colors for that friend to try. I've also reordered some more of these Coom pencil sharpeners because I really like them and I only have one. This is this goes in my pencil case and I feel like I'm always almost losing it. So I thought, wow, well, I'll order a few more. I really wish now I'd ordered five because I'm going to give one of these to my friend. I have somebody else in mind that I'm going to give one to and then that only leaves me one more. But I guess I have two more just until I give my friend this one. <laughs> All right, so we have those. As usual, I'm going in order of least exciting to most exciting. I got another Derwent water brush. I love these water brushes. They're my absolute favorite. And I really like the big square ones and also the largest tip round ones. I ordered another round one because this one is getting, it's at a great place in life with those bristles. Look at those bristles at the top when they're all that's great to me, but I can also tell I'm wearing it down. So I thought I better get another one. Let's do this. I got a couple new paints, both Daniel Smith. I had a bunch in my cart and then the price for this whole order was in redonkulous land. So I started taking things out because there was part of me that was like, Sandy, come on now. You don't need more greens. There is a watercolor that I got from, oh no, it's squishing out. I hate when that happens. Oh, it's not as light color as I thought it was gonna be. Hmm. Okay, let me go, I'm gonna take this big dollop. I 
hate when paint does that and go put that on my palette because it's not a lot but I don't want to waste that so I'm gonna go put that on my palette all right I'm back so I thought I would try just something kind of a uh, neutrally this is gonna be probably more like gouache which that's what I'm hoping for so I'll test that with you later and then I also got what is the name of this cascade green we'll test that together I don't want to take the lid off in case it does the explosion I'll test that okay also know what's in here I'm pretty sure yeah while I was looking around at Daniel Smith ordering putting way too many things in my basket that I didn't really need I also put this in there wait is this Daniel Smith yes it is a watercolor stick I mean, I really did not need this because I have plenty of Neo Colors, I have plenty of oil pastels, soft pastels. I did not need this. The reason I got this was because it's the Undersea Green. I love Daniel Smith Undersea Green watercolor paint. Love it. If I only could take like five watercolor colors with me, on a deserted island I was gonna be deserted there could only take five colors but I guess if I was told beforehand that I was gonna be deserted I could pick the colors my undersea green would be one I would pick so I thought well, we'll try this out I think I was also thinking about the fact that I've been going to these local gardens that you can't take paint and I was thinking well I can take this because it's technically not paint okay what next let's do the eco lines I have not ever bought any of these eco lines but again I've been taking my markers color pencils my dry material to this local garden so I think I bought all the greens that they had I may have left some but I bought several hoping they were going to be all different from the looks of the lids they are and then I bought a few neutral colors just to be able to kind of lay down as a ground let me tell you the colors that I got please be on here easily okay pastel green bronze green spring green grass green and in the neutrals I got warm gray light beige and pink beige so we'll see I also bought some of the eco line basically the watercolor that's in these you can buy these in pen forms or you can buy these in these like little jars one of the things supposedly with the eco line markers that people like not only because of the colors but you can refill them I haven't looked yet to see how that works I figured that these greens were going to be probably too bright for me and since I can't take paint with me to that gardens I thought I'll buy some what did I get burnt sienna and that way I can add a little bit of this hopefully to the markers and neutralize them so we'll do that together and test that out and I'm also hoping I don't ruin the markers by neutralizing them too much but we'll see okay I'm super excited about these I've never bought any of the gelatos I thought they used to have a big selection that you could order a whole bunch individually but at least on Blick I didn't see that but they did have this set that are sheer which for some reason in my mind I thought that may equal neutral I don't know but they did have several colors in here that looked kind of nice and neutral so I thought I'll get a set of these again why am I buying this I don't know because I do have like plenty of dry materials but they kind of lured me in it would also be nice because these will keep my fingers clean uh, I don't know I thought let's give these a try so we'll test all of those oh look it came with a brush that's funny I do think these are water soluble yeah water soluble but I don't know if I'll use them like that but I could because I do think I could get away with taking a water brush with me to that garden actually I have done that all right I also ordered a few things that did not come in this order one of them was another sketchbook I got three new sketchbooks I've been wanting to kind of explore sketchbooks and see if I could find any cheaper versions of like big ones for my to replace my moleskin or at least give me a big space for something that's not the 
a level of moleskin. You know what I mean? Like a cheaper version where if I'm just doing quick sketches for some of these Patreon sessions and things like that, I wouldn't feel like I was wasting it in a moleskin. So I'll tell you about that in a minute. Uh, this one is a gift for someone, the Art Creation Royal Talons. And this is a sketchbook I've used before, but only in this little version that I take with me on walks. And I've also been doing some abstracts in this little one. This is the largest size Blick offers of this. I kind of would have liked a little bit larger, but I really like the paper of this and it's creamish. Yeah, so I just thought I'm gonna get this size because I think this would be nice for taking to the gardens and on location. Then this sketchbook somebody sent me in more like this format and I really liked it but I don't love the landscape format. So I thought I would buy this other one because I do like the paper. It's super thick, it's cream, and I can tell I'm going to like this. I like that it has a pocket, even though am I ever gonna put anything in that? Probably not, but it's there in case I want to. I just really like these sketchbooks. They lay flat. I like the cream paper. I really like a sketchbook that has cream paper. It's quite big and heavy, but this is the one that as soon as I got this box, well, I got the box, came late last night, so this morning I tore into it because I wanted to fill this paper. I was so hopeful it was gonna be kind of like Royal Talons or the Moleskine. I knew it was gonna be white, but it's what I thought. It was very cheap. I think it was only like $17. I've never had a sketchbook this size, the 11 by 14. I feel like it's a nice size because it's not as large as the Moleskine, but it still gives me some room to work and breathe. I feel like I need to go big. What I did though this morning, I did not wait for you guys. I was gonna wait and do this on screen or on the camera, but I didn't. So. I just felt like I desperately needed, needed to know what the paper was going to do. I felt like I knew after I felt it. It is just cheap, non, um, it doesn't have any sizing on it really. So things just kind of go right through it. But that's okay. My dry medium works fine or works good on it. I mean, again, it's not cream. If you put any water, like this was Neocolor, and I put water on it, and it went straight through. But there's a lot of paper in this, and again, it will be wonderful for quick drawing sessions. It'll be great for dry medium. I did want to see, this is gouache right here, and I thought, let's see what happens if I at least get a layer of something down, basically like like how would that do because if I wanted to I could prepare some pages I think oh nope still going through hmm. okay well and it has that like you know how cheap paper as soon as you put something wet on it, it has like this speckledy I don't know you can just tell it's like really soaked into the paper Markers also are not doing good on this because since there's no sizing, it just soaks up the marker. Like you feel like you're using your marker up like really fast. But all that said, I am excited to have a place to use a bunch of other things. I can probably use these gelatos. I can use Neo Colors in a dry state. I can wet things. You can wet it. And actually, when I went back over this, the paper's not ruffling that bad. So that's kind of a good sign. Let's keep our test going. Let's put some ink while we're just here. Because I did not try ink. Ink will probably just go through like three pages is what I'm expecting. It actually creates some pretty neat texture. Oh yeah, look, it is just going through. <laughs> yep, that's what happens when you don't have any sizing. But for $17, I'm glad I have it. 
All right, I've got my Royal Talon sketchbook. Let's test some of these materials. Let's do the eco lines first. This is the beige. Mm, that's a nice one. I like that a lot, actually. This is the pink beige. Hmm, probably won't. Well, I don't know. Maybe this winter I would use that color. Warm gray light. That actually does not look warm gray at all. Okay, now let's test these eco lines. Another thing I'm hoping about these eco lines is that the, the cap looks like the color. Okay, I feel like I don't have y'all in a good position. I'm going to move you just a little bit. All right, that was pastel green. Yeah, see, that is neon. That is screaming for some burnt sienna. Oh my gosh, I thought that was neon. This is neon. Spring green. Whoa, Oof, I don't like that green either. Grass green. I usually don't like something that's titled grass green. I do like how these are laying though on the paper and going down. Bronze green. I wonder if real quick we should just see. Oh, well, let's see what this eco line looks like by itself. Oh boy, that's dark. <laughs> Yeesh. Can't remember if I still have, yeah, I still have stuff. Wow. Okay, well, that is pure, that's straight on burnt sienna. Yeah, that's nice. And I'm going to just see real quick if we can fill these with a little bit. I don't know how this works. Uh oh, oh yeah, that should be easy to fill. Needed a jar to sit it in so I don't spill it. Okay, let me move y'all back. So y'all can observe. My guess is we're gonna just put a few drops. I can also tell that if you mess the nib up on this side, you've got another nib right there. That's nice. I have no idea how much I just put in there. It didn't feel like much. It doesn't feel like it even went in there. Nothing's really shaking up. Let's just see what happens. Did it change at all? No. Well, it did, it did darken it. I'm going to add some more. Thing is also probably like quite full. It's weird because I don't feel anything shaking up in there, so I don't, I really don't know if I'm doing this right. I do like how it's coming out of the nib. Can tell I've put the max in there like it's gonna squish out for sure oh boy I feel a mess coming I'm wondering at this point if I'm gonna to need to use some of the marker up to be able to add more ink to it oh whoops I added too much I knew that was gonna happen okay well that's a nice orange oh boy so I got carried away. Oh well. Oh no. Yes. That's why it's so orange. Look. Oh no. I overfilled it. It's just all in the cap. Oh boy. What a mess. Okay. Huh. Alrighty. Well. Don't do that. Now I have a nice brown. Oh, now it's getting greener. I think maybe it just didn't get shaken up very well or something. I don't know. Oh boy, I'm making a mess. Hmm. Okay. Well, just don't know. 
I think I should have taken time to shake it a little better. Oh, wow, it's pouring out. I think I overfilled. Oh, boy. Oh, I bet I was supposed to take this off. Yeah, I bet I was supposed to take this off and fill it in there, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. It's pouring out everywhere. Okay, the color is getting way better, though. Wow. Okay, yeah, that was good. Okay, I'm going to do that to the rest of these also. Okay, so that was nice. Now let's try this um, undersea green. Oh, wow. Right off the bat, I'm not sure I like the feel. It's very, like, hard to... I don't like that experience at all. Oof. Wow. Oh, boy. No. It's, like, sticky or something. Hmm. Okay. I hate when you get excited about something. I mean, that's the color. It's a nice color. I wonder. Does okay, it goes over a little better if it's wet. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's nice. Yeah, maybe that's the way to do it. Put some clear. Let's say that's going to be my, yeah, that's not bad. Oh, that's actually quite nice. You had to wet it a little bit. Okay. Let's say that was going to be a treat. Yeah. Did you see how it's kind of like wanting to, do I even have this in shot here? Goes it down a lot smoother if there's some water. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's see what these colors look like. Oh my gosh, this is pouring out again. Why? Ooh, that's galopity. But it's a nice color. Let's see. I think it's going to be like. Oh, no, I was going to say, I thought it was going to be exactly the color of the sketchbook, but it's a little darker. I like that. Hmm, okay. Yeah, that is good. All right, let me clean my brush, and we'll try. I didn't really leave space for my gelatos. I guess we'll do that over here. Oh, please don't squeeze out like crazy. Okay. Ooh, it's already messy, though. What did I say this was called? Cascade Green? Ooh. Oh, man, I love it when I get colors that I don't already have. That's going to be a nice winter green. Ooh, I like that. That's a good color for the water, for water, too, or like a sky. There's granulation. Okay, that's I should have gotten a big tube of that because that's happy right there. That makes me happy. Very nice. All right, we're winning some and losing some. Let's try. Ooh, look at how that's separating. Whoa, nice. Holy moly. Okay. Wow. Okay, we'll try these gelatos over here. I'm pretty excited about these. Oh, please, I have a good texture. Okay, these are just called translucents. This is called, oh, aubergine. This one's aubergine, so that means purple. Ooh, ooh, that was, they're smooth. Oh, I even like that purple. Whoa, I'm gonna use that color. So picky about my purples. Let's just also test what they do when you add water. Yeah, okay. Ooh, I think this is going to be a good purchase. This next one is thistle, so another purple probably. That pretty much looks the same, but it's even nicer. 
I don't know. It's kind of a cool and a warm. Wow, I need that color in paint color. All right, we are off to a good start. That's all I'm going to say. This one is called Litchy. Litchy, maybe? Okay. Yeah, it's nice. It's not like scream in your face pink. I don't know if it's a color I'll use much, but I do like it. This next one is called Orange Khaki. Looks like gold, if you ask me. Yeah, that's very gold. So far, I'm happy with this purchase. This one is called Turmeric. Ooh, nice fall color. I'm liking that these aren't in your face colors. They're neutral. This next one, Hazelnut. Ooh, that one's nice too. Ooh, I love how smooth these are going down. I'm going to that garden tomorrow. That's the plan. These are definitely going with me. I may even use purple. Oh, this one's called Nougat. I love when things are, have good names. Pretty similar to that, but just a little bit lighter. This is Cream de Mint. <laughs> That's gonna be, it. oh yes. Ooh, what a nice winter color. I feel like this has a winter theme feel. Now we have olive. Well, we know olive should be amazing. And it is. These also feel very light, which I'm excited about because I don't want to be carrying a whole bunch of heavy stuff. Okay, this next one's called Peppercorn. Oh, it's beautiful. That right there. Actually, this right here is a beautiful color combination. Wowzer, Sandy. Good purchase. These are going to be used. Now, what's sad about this, though, is I don't think... This one's called Poppy Seed. Another good name. Another good color. I don't think I can purchase these individually. Ugh. You know, if I use one up, I feel kind of stressed sometimes. Bergamot is what this next one's called. When I can't replace a color, that makes me slightly stressed. Man, that is a great green. This set is amazing. Those colors, holy smokes, that was a good purchase. Yeah, I'm quite happy. These are 100% going out with me tomorrow. A very interesting texture about them. Oh, let's do this. Let's layer up a little bit. So, is that dry? Well, let's just do it over here. So, if I put that down, put a little bit. Oh, they're, oh, they go over one another really nice. So, that just right there even created a nice texture. Yeah, these are. I gotta go look to see if I can find these individually. This transparent kit is amazing. Hot doggity. Wow. Really, really, really nice haul. And I'm gonna go clean up and probably go ruin these because I'm gonna go put ink in them <laughs> and probably ruin them, but we'll see. Should we see how this one's doing now that it's, oh, it's still spitting out ink. Why is it spitting out so much ink? Is it coming from there? Oh, that's, that color is really getting good with that burnt sienna. Mm -hmm. I'm taking these out with me tomorrow too, but they are a mess. I don't know. I'm guessing I just overfilled it. Or maybe it's just I've got a bunch of ink in there. I'm going to go rinse that out. Maybe that'll help. I played around with some of these supplies a little more, and I'm going to tell you some stuff. And sorry about the deep breathing. You're probably going to hear Cooper's underneath the table. I have my bags packed. I'm taking those, what are they called? Gelatos or something like that. So I'll let you know how I get along with them, but I'm pretty excited about it. But I do want to tell you a little more about what I found with all this new stuff. So I tested out some supplies over the gelato things. Oh, that's what they're called because I can't. Oh yeah, gelatos, the Faber-Castell things. Color pencil goes over them very easy. It's really nice because they kind of have a neo color to feel about them when they go down they're way smoother when they go down but they dry matte it feels like and 
that one's not going over. Oh, that's a polychromos. I mean, obviously, Neo Color's going to go over them. Yeah, everything's going over them really nicely, which is very surprising and quite exciting. I don't remember if I tested marker. I mean, I know marker will go over it. Yeah. Very nice. I don't even have to test Neo Color, though we can. I know those will go over them very easily and probably anything else. So that was one thing I wanted to jump on here to mention. The other thing is I wanted to show how this dried. Look at the color in that. Really, really nice. Let's see if stuff, oh, stuff does go over it. Hmm, that's interesting. Yeah, stuff goes over it. Huh, maybe I'll pack it. Then I added more and more of the burnt sienna to my greens to try to get them less green. And I don't know that I ever succeeded. I didn't want to ruin it. So I just added a little bit and I'll see. These right here are these colors and then I used that kind of beige, pinky beige color to try neutralizing it. So this feels way too bright for me. Um, all this is me trying to figure out what colors I wanted to take today or take tomorrow on my outing. Is there anything else I wanted to mention? I do like the color that I made here. The bronze, what did that, what was that? At first that was what? Oh yeah, this. I liked it when I added just a little bit. I feel like I, I didn't ruin it. I do like this color, but I liked it here. And I have a feeling I'm gonna really, really, really like these gelatos though. Sometimes you just know, you know what I mean? You just know. I've had back-ordered stuff kind of trickling in. This is not that big of a deal. There's only one thing in here. But it's definitely one I wanted to share with y'all. It's quite thin. I've been trying different sketchbooks because I just wanted to explore a little to see what's out there. And, ooh, okay. Uh, it, I've got paint on my hands. It does not lay as flat as what I was hoping. Maybe I can work that spine out. It draws me crazy when they say it's going to lay flat, but then it doesn't lay flat, flat. It's like they don't know what flat means. It does feel like the kind of spine, though, that if I just kind of work it out, it's going to be okay. I've been trying to find a cheaper version of my Moleskine. How many pages does this have? 48 pages. I can't remember what the Moleskine has, and this is not, I don't think, as big as the Moleskine. 11 by 14. Okay, yeah, now here's my Jumbo Moleskine, and you can see how much. But it is big. Um, I feel like it wasn't like real cheap. I can't remember. But I like the paper, I think. It does have a little bit of texture, which will be fine for painting. I'm not expecting this to be like a sketching. I kind of feel like this is like nice painting sketchbook. My Royal Talons I use for just, you know, anything. Good stuff, not good stuff. It's just an inexpensive sketchbook but this one i wanted something that felt a little larger but maybe not as large as the moleskine actually i haven't been able to find anything as big as the moleskine that that i'm happy with this feels like it does not have much sizing on it though it feels very cottony so i'll play around in it and let you know the other negative to me about this one is that it's white paper and I think anybody that's been here for a while knows that I'm not a big fan of white paper. Thought I'd show you all that real quick. I'll get back with you and let you know what I think about the sketchbook. And maybe by the time I even publish this, I'll have some sketches in here to show you. I wanted to take a minute to give you some feedback on the two sketchbooks. I don't care for at all the cheap paper one. I never pick it up. I have prepped some of the pages. I just never use it. I think I've used it like three times. 
don't recommend it at all. Um, the Fabriano, is that what it was called? Fabriano? No, Strathmore. It's okay. I am using it. Um, I'm using it, but I probably will not purchase it again. Here's one I did with a bunch of oil pastels and all kinds of stuff. It's nice thick paper. It's holding up well. Uh, I just, I don't know. I have to prep it and I just don't know if I'm in love. Now I've only, you know, I've, as you can see here, just done a handful of sketches. I do love the size. I just don't know if I'm in love with the paper yet. Even though when I look back at these sketches, these paintings, I really do like them. So, I don't know. I'm using it, unlike the other one. I am using it, and it's nice thick pages, and it holds up to everything. It's just that I think I do have to kind of prep the pages a little bit. I don't know. I don't know. Now I'm looking back at these. I do love them. So, yeah. I'd say iffy. I think Verdict is out. Is that the way you say it? I feel like I always say that wrong. I'm not sure if I would purchase another one. I love the size. I'm not sure on the papers. I will say though, the gelatos, totally sold on the gelatos. Um, I've also bought some in other brands. Love that set of them. Highly, highly, highly recommend them. I just got another small-ish, or it looks small, supplies in today. This is actually not too small or not too cheap and I thought I would show them to you. Some of them are restock and a chunk of them are new things. So let's start with the things that I did not order. I have no idea what these are. Poly bags. Yeah, got those. <laughs> did not order them. There's that. I also got some empty half pans because I need some more for what's in here. Got two gouaches that are restocks. These are for the studio. I have a set of these for my travel out on location painting, and I use them a lot, gray number one and gray number three. This is my favorite gouache. Not only do I like the gouache, but the packaging is good. The lids go on easy. Nothing to complain about whatsoever. I also picked up this color. Who did I see using this? Frances Ives. She was using this color. What is the name of it? Let's see. Glacier Brown. It looked like it had some neat granulation. Then, oh, she also used this color, which I was excited about. Lunar Blue. I will be honest, I'm not sure why I got this color because I don't really use a lot of dark blues, but I got it. I think maybe I saw her using it. It was like had good granulation. Then, I got two of my favorite Posca colors, or, well, it's the same colors, but I got two new pens. They're both khaki. I wish I could get this in a larger nib, but I always have one of these in my purse. It's the best color. I love sketching with it. I just love it, and I tend to go through them pretty quickly. This, oh, I'm sure you hear a little doggy nails coming in. Whoa, I got a lot more than what I realized. Oh no, I hope I didn't double order stuff. I checked and checked. Oh boy. Oh no, I already see one that I think I already have. No, 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 I don't. Okay, calm down, Sandy. <laughs> right, oh, I feel embarrassed that I'm even getting on here to say that I've ordered more color pencils, but I have been using them a lot. And I don't remember between like, sorry, I didn't even have this on camera between all my patreons that I follow uh, I don't remember who has inspired these but sorry about all the noise that's Cooper these are the colors I got okay oh wait no some were not inspired let me tell you what I did I got several new polychromos no not polychromos luminance let me grab my glasses I'm gonna tell you the colors and then I'm probably not gonna swatch them on here because uh, sometimes I feel like that bores y'all, but I will show you my swatches after I do them. Oh yeah, this one right here is Polychromos Faber-Castell, 
and it's earth green. I mean, I hear Emma Carlisle talking about it all the time. I finally had to purchase it. And, uh, okay, the two luminance, dark indigo and, oh, paint's gray. That's a restock uh, because my paint's gray has gotten so tiny. I, then I decided to get almost all the Derwent drawing colors that I don't have because if I have a limited amount of color pencils I can take, I always, always reach for the Derwent drawing. They go over just about everything. They'll even go over Neo colors. Most of them will. I just love them. They're very earthy colors, very neutral in their color palette. And did I already say I love them? I love them. I'll tell you the colors that I got. Basically now I have the whole set, I think. Light Sienna, Mars Orange. It will also be a Christmas miracle if I did not get any of the same ones I already have. I try to be really careful, but you know how that is. Oh, Ivory Black. I do already have Ivory Black, but it's gotten to be tiny. So I got another one of those. Wheat, Warm Earth. Ooh, that looks nice. Wait. That looks like one I already have, but we'll see. Mars Violet. Warm Gray. Pale Cedar. That sounds nice. And Solway Blue. Ooh, I do feel like maybe I already have that one. I don't know. Whew. There's literally no way that I didn't get something that I already have. Okay, but here's the new thing. I have been hearing others, maybe it was Francis Ives, use the Derwent Light Fast. Wow, these are dark colors. That's interesting. I mean, a lot of those even look like the same colors. Anyways, I've heard people, oh, loom, some of these are luminance. That one's luminance. Okay, what color is that? Dark, fa 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 fa, yeah, something like that, green, 719. This is a reorder. This is my all-time, all-time, all-time favorite, favorite green, favorite pencil, hands down. And it's the smallest pencil I'll probably have. Okay, is everything else the Derwent White Fast? Yes. I haven't tried these, so I thought I'd give them a try, and I'll let you know what I think. Okay, this first name is so nice. Seaweed. I mean, you have to buy a pencil named Seaweed. Pine, Ivy, Ocean Blue, Forest. That's a nice name, too. Olive Earth and Leechen Green. That's a pretty nice name too, even though I don't think I'm saying it right. Okay, wow, that's a lot of color pencils. I'm going to swatch this. I will also show you the swatches of these two paints and let you know. So probably in the next second, you'll see the finished swatches. Fur, 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 fur. All right, I had a nice play with the colors. I did purchase one color I already had, the Saw Way Blue, I already had that. So, oh wait, no, I have Smoky Blue. I think I didn't have my glasses on. So maybe I did get a different blue. I need to swatch that. Actually, I'm gonna swatch that right down here. Yeah, okay, <laughs> maybe I didn't mess up. But where I did mess up, I have now purchased a bunch of greens like I have a lot of greens in my stash that all look the same. So I really, really, really have got to put a ban on my green purchasing because I just keep purchasing the same greens. So I took all my greens that I'm, not all, not all my greens, but all the greens that are in my like, I'm using these a lot and did a page. Um, I put little X's next to ones that like seem kind of like a duplicate, even though I can very easily talk myself into two colors that just have a barely shift. But now that, let's see, now that I have my pencil case that I'm using and want that to be my active, like here are my favorites, I'm trying to narrow things down. So, green buying band. I need to stick to it. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to swatch this blue for y'all, but I had a play with all of the new supplies and I am very happy, except for the fact that I do have several greens, like I said, that are similar. I mean, that's no surprise. I think as artists, we kind of tend to gravitate to the same colors over and over, but I definitely need to stop because I have a nice selection. Oh, I will also say this, the Derwent Light Fast I 
love them. I feel like they are literally an in-between the Derwent Drawing and the Derwent Luminance. They have the creaminess of the Derwent Drawing, but they have like the firmness and go downs, I think even easier than the Luminance. They're my new favorites. If I was not, sorry, we have a dog back there scratching. If I was not on a color pencil, pencil buying band again, I would be buying more of the Derwent Light Fast because I really like them. They're just, just smooth and they look smooth on the page. They look creamy and smooth. I really like a color pencil that you don't have to work hard to get it to come out. You know what I mean? Let me show you these and the two paints I'm very happy with. I have a very scratchy voice. I think my allergies are bad. Um, they had a lot of granulation. I put them in my palette immediately. So let me show you. Okay, I do have the Solway Blue. I got excited and thought, oh, maybe I didn't mess up. I don't know what this Smoky Blue, I guess I have it, but they're very similar. You don't need both. I do like the Solway better than the Smoky. Okay, but let me first show you this a little closer. Here were my color swatches with my greens. I do feel like I have a nice variety, but you can see that, I don't know, there are several that look very similar. But if you see any there that you like, I've got like, so L means luminance, FC means Faber Castell, uh, DI means Derwent Ink Tints, DD Derwent Drawing, Derwent Light Fast, so on and so on. Okay, now let me show you these. Let me show you these two paints. Look at the beautiful granulation. I don't have anything this color, and I loved the granulation and how it's separated. And then this blue was super nice too, so I'm happy about that. Okay, here was the luminance. I loved this color. I think it's a nice dark for a black and for a sketching color. This Faber-Castell, I mean, I have something similar. I have like multiple colors that are similar to that. I thought I would swatch the Khaki Posca so you could see it. Right here, this is where I would put it down and then just smudge it so you can see what it looks like smudged and then what it looks like just regular. But it's just a nice, nice color. Here are my new Derwent Light Fast colors. All of them really great. Some of them are colors that I have similar colors to, but I did switch the similar colors out so I could use the Derwent Light Fast because I liked them so much. And then here are the Derwent Drawing Colors. These three right here, or four actually, because that's the Solway, these three I already had. These are kind of the greens, so I wanted you to be able to see them. This is the new one, but it basically looks just like the Crag Green, so I don't think you need both. I was really happy with this Mars Violet. I'm not a big purple person, but that just is a very useful and neutrally purple. I like the Warm Earth, I have something similar to, and even the Wheat, but this Light Sienna is super nice. And the Mars Orange. Nice bright, but still neutral. And this Warm Gray, I'm pretty excited about it too. So anyways, I'm pretty happy with all of them. Very nice. Pretty good purchase. I need to not buy more greens, but other than that, oh, and then also I played with those paints a little bit, mixing with other colors. And I feel like this Glacier Brown is gonna be a really nice mixer for greens. So this is the Glacier Brown with the yellow. And I think here, well, I, I didn't really make notes, but I just played a little bit. This is the Glacier Brown with a, hmm, I can't remember the name of the green, but basically it kind of, it's just a nice dirty, just dirty stuff up nicely. So I was very pleased with those two paints. Nice addition. Okay, I think that's it. Yeah, just wanted to show those to you quickly. All right, so there are the supplies. I'm loving the ones that I loved and not liking the ones that I didn't like. Okay, that didn't make any sense. Uh, or I guess it made sense, but I already said all that. So there's this week's video. I hope you enjoyed a really long one with all kinds of art supplies. Now, if you've not subscribed for the, what am I calling it? Vlog blog, video blog, all, whatever that thing, make sure to go link to the link below and subscribe. I don't know why I just did that. 
yeah anyways because why did I do that because I do weird hand motions and voices that's why okay I'll see you here in two <laughs> why am I doing this this is uh, it's so awkward okay let's just let's just wrap this up bye for now that's what I need to say bye